And the San Francisco 49ers defeat the Green Bay Packers 37 to 20 in the 2020 NFC Championship game. And the 49ers advance to Super Bowl 54. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so hyped. I am so pumped. What an amazing game this was. Now, one of the dominating performances of this game was the 49ers running game. We've seen all season how dominant the 49ers running game can be, and that is what we saw tonight. We saw Raheem Mostert have an absolutely NFL breaking game in which he had four rushing touchdowns and rushed for 220 rushing yards. And so absolutely insane. And I mean, what a story for this guy. He has played on like six different teams in his NFL career. And so the perseverance in that story. And, you know, when, you know, give a huge credit to the 49ers offensive line because, you know, they did a fabulous job. And, of course, George Kittle and his amazing blocking abilities. And, you know, when you have a great running game going, and in this case, you know, why stray away from the running game? Because Jimmy Garoppolo only through eight passes in this game so you know what that tells you is that the 49ers were able to completely dominate this game in the running game and so that is exactly what they did and i mean there's so many benefits to dominating a football game with the running game you're talking about time of possession controlling the clock and another big factor is you're keeping the opponent's defense longer out on the field and you're tiring them out more and more and more and that's going to leave more opportunities for big explosive plays to happen and so the 49ers just executed so amazing in this game and i mean they came out absolutely dominating the first half the 49ers carried a 27 to 0 halftime lead and although when we went into second half though the packers did start to mount a rally and we're making a comeback and so, you know, we did, but what we saw the 49ers do is that they were able to come up with the big play when they needed to. And in a two score game, 14 point game, Richard Sherman comes up with the big, amazing interception to pretty much seal the game away. The 49ers would get in field goal range. They would make it a three possession game and go up 17. And that is what they would win by 37 to 20. And we are advancing to the Super Bowl, you guys. Oh my goodness, I am so juiced. And I you also so absolutely have to give huge credit to the 49ers top defense in this game. They played absolutely amazing. We have probably the best defensive front in the National Football League doing a great job putting pressure on Aaron Rodgers. And, you know, that is exactly what they did. And it was so much fun to watch, you guys. And also, you know, with this defense, we were able to hold the Packers running game in check. They only had 62 rushing yards against us. So, again, it was a completely dominating performance on defense, holding them to zero points uh, in the first half like we spoke about earlier. But then again, in the second half, we did kind of let up some big plays. But what mattered most is that we were able to make the big plays when it absolutely counted in the game. And so, man, it just absolutely amazing. Now, if we were looking at a preview of the Super Bowl coming up against the Kansas City Chiefs, what is more than likely going to happen, you know, we know the Chiefs defense, they have a good defense, and although I don't think that they will be able to fully neutralize the 49ers running game, I think that, you know, the 49ers are going to have to lean on Jimmy Garoppolo's throwing and having him make some passes and some throws to win this game. And, you know, with Jimmy Garoppolo, we've seen this season when the 49ers have won games in so many ways. You know, we've won in special teams. We've won in close games. We've won in bad weather conditions. We've proven we can win on the road. And so, you know, whatever environment that the 49ers have been placed in, you know, we have proven that we have passed the test. You know, we passed the bar. And so, you know, that is exactly what is going to give this team you know, the experience it needs to go out there and perform and get the job done. And so, guys, we are going to dive into the stats of this game. So we spoke about the dominating performance on the running game from the 49ers, a total of 285 rushing yards in the game. And, you know, again, if the defense can't stop the run, why go away from it? So, you know, with Jimmy Garoppolo only throwing eight passes, it's insane. And it just, man, I just love it. It's just awesome. And so moving forward now, now let's look at these stats. So Jimmy Garoppolo in the game completed six um, passes on eight 
attempts for 77 passing yards. Aaron Rodgers in the game completed 31 passes on 39 attempts for 326 yards with two touchdowns and two interceptions in the game. And so, of course, on the receiving end, the 49ers didn't have too many catches in the game because, you know, there was not a need for so many passes in the game. But we did see an amazing performance from 49ers rookie wide receiver Debo Samuel coming up big with two first down catches. And, you know, just amazing on that drive that led to a 49ers touchdown. You know, it was just so much fun to see Kyle Shanahan work in the playbook, work in calling these plays, and, you know, seeing the product on the field actually perform to, you know, what we have and expected and anticipated it to come out to. So now let's get into the defensive stats of this game, you guys. The 49ers defense had three sacks in the game, and the 49ers leading tackler on defense was K1 Williams with seven tackles and one sack in the game. Dre Greenlaw, 49ers rookie, he had five tackles as well in the game. We all know him from the amazing last regular season game against the Seattle Seahawks in which he made the last tackle at the one-yard line to pretty much give the 49ers this opportunity to have the number one seed, to have these two home games. And, you know, we were able to go out in the playoffs, play to our what we're capable of doing and now we are advancing to Super Bowl 54. And I mean, it is just insane to think. And you know, wow, what a magical ride we are on. Still one more game to go, you guys. And Jaquaski's heart, he also had five tackles as well on defense. DeForest Buckner with four tackles. And then Emmanuel Mosley, a big game as well. Four tackles and one big interception. What a play that was. I absolutely loved it. And then Eric Armstead, he had three tackles and one sack in the game also. Nick Bosa, you guys, rookie. Yes, two tackles and one sack. And Richard Sherman, two tackles. And with the game-closing interception at the end, you guys, it was so amazing, so phenomenal to watch, so exciting, so exhilarating. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I cannot contain my excitement level. We are going to enjoy this and let this soak in over the next two weeks and building up to Super Bowl 54 and seeing our beloved 49ers. Oh my goodness, you guys, I cannot wait. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it all the way through to the end of this video, then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button. If you have not done so already, if you would like to be notified when brand new San Francisco 49ers videos are going to be posted, we'll be coming to you guys with game recaps and in-game live reactions for all San Francisco 49ers preseason, regular season, and playoffs, you guys. And now we are e headed to the Super Bowl. And so let me know, guys, down in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you 49ers fans all around the world. Let me know where you were watching the game, friends, family. Let me know your amazing stories You that, you know, where you were when some of these touchdowns and these plays, um, just, you know, where did you take in and soak in the experience of this day? Because, you know, this is a special day for us to um, obviously play in the NFC Championship. And so what an exciting thrill it was. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And I want to take this time as well to thank all of you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. And I absolutely would not be here without all of you. And so thank you guys so much again. And I cannot wait for the Super Bowl. And so as always, until next time, I will see you guys again. Let's go Niners! <gasps>